uh, Her Excellency Helen Hai. She is the UNIDO Goodwill Ambassador, uh, but also CEO. And you heard so much about Made in China, Made in China, Made in China. And uh, she's going to tell you Made in Africa, uh, an initiative that is really going to uh, impact. Uh, it's a PPP model that uh, gets the Africa into the mainstream of markets. Uh, uh, through PPP, and uh, please listen carefully. Um, yes, sister, you have the floor. Thank you, Chairman. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm afraid I don't have a fancy presentation with me, so you just have to bear with me for the next five minutes. <laughs> Let me start with my real story. A Chinese story happened in Africa. I came to Ethiopia in October 2011, and it took me three months from decide to investment to actual production. And in the following six months, I doubled the export revenue for Ethiopia in the shoe sector. And by month 12, I hired 2,000 local workers. And by month 24, I hired 4,000 local workers. Private sector did not come to Africa to do aid. They come to Africa to do business. But through business, they achieve the development goals. And today, I would like to share with you four things behind my story. Number one, Ethiopia ranked 125 according to World Bank doing business. I did not pick Ethiopia. It was Ethiopia who picked me. The story started March 2011 when the late Prime Minister Meles had a meeting with Justin Ifulin, the chief economist of the World Bank, and he asked Justin's advice on poverty reduction and economic transformation. Justin told him three things. Number one, job creation and export generation, it is the key. Secondly, the fundamental secret of the Asia for Tigers in the 1960s and China in the 1980s is because they grasp the window of opportunity during industrial relocation and created light manufacturing sector, which create millions of jobs and enable them for economic transformation. And the last thing Justin, as a remedy he gave it to the late Prime Minister is, he need to create a quick success story, which will bring inspiration, confidence, and experience to the Africa continent, that in this round of the window of opportunity, Africa can do the same. And that's actually how the story started because the Prime Minister went to China and picked us, and that's how we came to Ethiopia. So the first thing I would like to share with you, it was leadership and vision who brought us into Africa. Secondly, I would like to share with you, if anybody telling you doing business is very easy in Africa, that must be a lie. Uh, I can tell you an example. Why me, the Prime Minister and the Minister, they all told me, you are doing 100% export, all your raw material are supposed to be tax-free. But it was not the Prime Minister or Minister sitting at the port clearing my goods. It is somebody paid probably $50 per month clearing my goods, and you ask that person to make a decision he never made before. That's not easy. So what I had experienced, I have the brush to brush the shoes. They say this is a brush to brush human teeth. It needs to be text. I have a machine to make a hole on the shoe. They say this is illegal, it's a weapon. You, need to be, uh, you cannot get it cleared because it's not legal. So what I have to do, I have to meet the Minister of Tax and get his organization chart, understood he has six deputy director generals, and I went to meet each of them, and also get the telephone numbers of the next two layer manager below each of them. And then I gather the 20 people into a meeting room, explaining to them who am I, why I came to Ethiopia, what I've done, what am I going to do, and the problem I encountered, and taking 20 of them to the uh, production line, seeing from the beginning to the end, and after it, it becomes easy. So the thing I would like to share with you, why, what actually sustained us in Africa, and I would like to say sustainable commitment from the government is very important. Because when I had that problem, I pick up my phone, I called the Minister of Industrial at 10 o'clock in the evening, and he met me 7 o'clock in his office. And then for an investor, I want to say, if a minister, African minister, can come to the office early than the cleaner, that means a lot to me. And I think that means a lot to a lot of investors, even though you know the road is not easy. But you have a government as a partner which is next to you. 
And another thing which also touched my heart is, there was one time, actually, I, was, uh, I went a field trip with the minister. Uh, we went to see some very poor children in the school, so we wrote a 100,000 check to the government. We said, please use this for your poverty reduction, buy some food for the children. And then the minister actually immediately returned the check back to me, and they said to me, Helen, I don't want fish from you. I want you to come to my country to teach us how to catch the fish. Please use this check to buy machines and teach us, uh, train our workers, and this is what we want from you. And this is something actually I remember, and this is why we work hard together with the government. And then the third thing I would like to share with you is example effect. Before I came to Ethiopia, Ethiopia have an industrial zone called the Eastern Industrial Zone. They struggled for five years to attract any exporters to becoming a residents to do export. But the two years down the line after my success, Ethiopia government built its first government-owned industrial zone. I was helping the government to uh, attract e a investment promotion. With less than three months, without any advertisement, all the 22 factory units, they all leased it out to international exporters from India, Bangladesh, Taiwan, China, all of them. So you can imagine by the next year, you will suddenly see 20,000 jobs. And this is why, because success brings success. And last thing I want to talk about entrepreneurship. I spent 15 years in Europe being trained and worked as a senior executive in global organization. But if I compare the entrepreneurship of Western and China, I would say, if you see a tiger in front of you, the Western entrepreneurship, they probably tell you, you get your laptop and you do all the analysis to start Study the characteristic of the tiger. But then the Chinese entrepreneurship is if you see a tiger in front of you, you jump on top of the tiger and you ride it. And that's how you get the things done. <laughs> I'm a strong believer of strong leadership sustainable commitment and successful examples. And I'm, I believe that is going to bring developing countries from vision to action, from dream to reality. Thank you. Well, thank you, Helen. I think uh, um, we need some exercise uh, to jump on the tiger and uh, run. And, and this is really, really a very inspirational, inspirational uh, story. And I think we, uh, you are the, the, um, the last speaker here on the list. But I think that wraps up all what we have been saying. What are we talking about? What partnership is for? What, what leadership is for? Is to see that within a six month period, 20,000 jobs, 60,000 jobs created in Ethiopia. And that's something that we want to see. A, a partnership must deliver. And uh, uh, somebody may say, I think, Helen, you are absolutely right, because somebody may say, oh, you know, business is business, but this is about creating jobs, and this is all the UN is all about. The UN is all about helping people to create jobs, because without jobs, it's about 40, 50 percent of today's youth are out of job in most of the places. And so I think, uh, thank you, Helen.